Welcome all of you to this video. In the previous video, we studied about the area of the sector of a circle. Today in this video, we will study about the area of the segment of the circle. As you know, that a chord divides the circle into two parts in which one part is bigger and the other is smaller. Where larger part PSQ is area called the major segment and smaller part PRQ is called the minor segment. Come, let's find the area of the minor segment PRQ. For this, from the center O to the chord PQ, draw radii OP and OQ. Where the value of angle POQ assumed to be theta. Observing the figure carefully, we can say that the area of sector OPRQ is equal to the sum of areas of segment PRQ and triangle OPQ. Since we have to find the area of the shaded region, so from the area of the sector OPRQ, area of triangle OPQ is to be subtracted, which is represented by equation 1. For the area of a triangle, first the base and height have to be found. For this, we draw on PQ a perpendicular OL, which makes triangle OPL congruent to triangle OQL and from the corresponding part of congruent triangles, that is, CPCT, we determine that angle POL is equal to angle QOL. The value of angle POL and angle QOL is theta divided by 2. In equation 1, the formula of area of sector is theta upon 360 multiplied by pi r square. And the area of a triangle is 1 upon 2 multiplied by base multiplied by height, where the base is PQ and the height is OL. Now, if we talk about triangle OLP, we know that cos theta upon 2 equals to OL upon OP. From this, we get the length of OL as R cos theta upon 2. Similarly, the sine theta upon 2 will be equal to PL upon OP, from which the value of base, that is, PL is found as R sine theta upon 2. That is, we know that in the triangle OPQ, the value of base PQ is twice that of PL. Hence, the value of area of triangle OPQ is R square multiplied by sine theta upon 2 cos theta upon 2 is what we find. By placing the above values in equation 1, the shaded part area of the segment PRQ, R square multiplied by theta upon 360 times into pi minus sine theta upon 2 into cos theta upon 2 is what we get. In this video today, we learned about the area of the segment of the circle. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on this concept.